Thank you, Marion. And now our last speaker, um, certainly someone who needs no introduction, but certainly deserves our gratitude for his vision and support and making today possible. Ladies and gentlemen, our governor, Ned Lamont. All right, thanks, John and, and Lisa. This is, um, it's amazing, your story. You were a chef, and now you're doing optical coating. I mean, chef, optical coating, hopefully you make a lot of bread in both uh, professions. And, um, oh, by the way, my minister always used to say, you gotta get here really early to get a pew in the back of the church, so there's other place if you want. Uh, let me tell you what I hear. Uh, Maybe 30 years ago, 20 years ago, I thought the whole world was gonna be taken over by Facebook and Snapchat. That's where all the cool uh, kids went. And you look at this, is this really what the future is all about? You know what the answer to that question is? This is what the future is really all about, right, Paul? I mean, the world is changing. We were the manufacturing center of the world going back uh, a couple of generations. Then all the smart guys said, let's move the manufacturing offshore. You can save yourself 18 cents on the dollar. Don't worry about the transportation, just in time inventory. You know what? That, those consultants ended up being a disaster for us. And we've learned the hard way how important it is for us to make things right here in the United States of America, could take control of our own supply chain, making sure all the parts in the chain are right there so that our major manufacturers have them right here. And I think that is why, you know, Dean, um, you know, Danbury, and this part of the state, we have the wind to our back because this is what we do. We've always been the best at doing this. And now, uh, thanks to this amazing partnership, the Advanced Manufacturing Technology Center, you get to work on state-of-the-art equipment. This was sort of interesting to me. They said, start, we're gonna start off, you're gonna do it manually. I want you to learn exactly how it's done before it all goes to tech-enabled. And um, what'd you say, 95% of the people get a guaranteed job or all but guaranteed job? It's not the way it was in the 1970s when you graduated, let me tell you. So this is an extraordinary opportunity to lift people up, give them the very best chance they can. And look, I gotta tell you, um, Kelly Valeris, who runs Workforce, um, knows you know, better than anybody. We got a lot of people taking a look at the state of Connecticut. We got a lot of new families here. Dean was telling you about the number of families moving into a Danbury. That's true around the state as a whole. For the first time in generation or two, we've had over the last three years, a lot more people moving here. And that's for opportunity. And they come with jobs and they come with the businesses. But every single business I try and talk to Connecticut about expanding in Connecticut or moving to Connecticut, ask me the same thing, workforce workforce, workforce. There is a global search for talent all over the world, and they're gonna locate where they make sure they have the people who can do the skill. And that's what this is all about. Look no further, stay right here in Danbury, stay right here in Connecticut. And with this equipment, you know, you can maybe get access to that in uh, 40 other different countries. But to have this equipment here with folk trained on it, with a creative background to be able to make the most out of it, that's what makes Connecticut's manufacturing revolution um, transformative and real going forward. So that's why I love coming to events like this. That's why I'm gonna keep coming. And can I just give one little shout out to our state legislators? They were up till about uh, 3.30 in the morning uh, last night. I know it's a part-time legislature. They put in about 20 hours yesterday and they're here fighting for you every day. Thanks everybody, really pleased to be with you. Thank you.